working as intended. The AI in this game is impressive. Just play- I'm gonna do that every single time I start up this game. I have to. <laughs> Alright, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were moving on to the next area, just like every single other fucking time. So moving on to area 5, where I'm sure the experience is gonna jump up by like double again. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is Dr. Leo's lab, right? So I can finally... I can finally go and kill metal enemies. I think there was a portal from like... The sky to, in to inside his house. Oh, this is Dr. Leo's lab. There are machines lurking around here which only the powerful Zantet's sword can defeat. First of all, I gotta find that. Talk to a certain door to get you into the room. This is a really rundown lab. So I need to get into there. So I need to free a door. And to free a door, I need to go through this place. Whoa. This is a fucked up area underneath your house. Oh, you can worm your way out of this. 150 experience. Oh, I release this. You gotta be careful here too, because there are metal enemies, and... You don't want to get in a fight with metal enemies, because you can't actually kill them right now. Where's that guy going? Where are you going? Oh. Worms! Dang it. Ow! Alright, those guys are metal. Can't do anything to them. Those guys are metal too, God damn it! Run away from metal enemies! Ow, oh, enemies here hurt! Fuck off! Ooh, those guys are annoying. This place has got weird music, too. It's a lot less relaxing than the mountain. Hit and run. Ooh, level up, because these guys give so much more experience. Alright, what did this open up? Release the cat. That's not the door I wanted. That pussy, though! Where are those guys all going? Bye, guys! Bye! Alright, that opened up a new passage. Worms are jumpy. This is a shortcut back to the start. Those are metal dudes. Hey look, enemies I can kill. What did you release? A plant. <laughs> like, I'm the master, I'm releasing souls. What are you releasing? Fucking decorations and pets. Oh, what's this one release? Oh, oh, release the great door. That's the one I want. And it's an incredibly important one. Time to go back. What have we got in here? Zantet sword. I can kill metal shit now. This is Dr. Leo's lab. This house has a second floor and an attic. Hi, plant. The room on the second floor is Dr. Leo's. There were two... I mean, it's his house. Isn't this entire place Dr. Leo's? There were two models of town in his room. Many creatures were swallowed into the models. Well, since I can beat metal enemies now, we're gonna take some time to leave. Alright, there weren't any metal enemies here, but I know there were here. And was it the volcano? Remember to use, uh, bubble armor here, because otherwise you just take damage because you're drowning. Just like this. See, you don't want to take damage like this. Because you have to make it over here. <laughs> oh no, this isn't the right spot. I need the volcano, which is the lower left. <laughs> I'm dumb. Alright, so there are these metal apes over here that we need to kill. Hi, guys. It's certainly not worth very much experience, though, for this... for metal enemies. Alright, and what did this release here? Released a mermaid. Give me stuff. Alright, she appeared in here, right? Is this one the mermaid? Thank you very much for releasing me. I will give you the red hot stick. Sweet! So, one of the three items I need to beat the last boss. There's still me more metal shit we have to deal with, though. Definitely more over here. And I'll switch to the ice armor. Just swipe and kill everything in one hit. Alright, we need this fire temple. 350 experience, it's not bad. And there should be one in the middle towards the top, right? There we go, I heard it die. What's this? I'm watching over the world. Please take this. One point of experience. You can keep coming back here and getting that one point of experience, though. I know there's metal dudes here. Nice experience per kill. At least- ooh, treasure chest. Received strange bottle, alright. And next floor down here, there's metal enemies here, too! 
And this is why I equipped the ice armor. Get that delicious experience. So many metal dudes in this room. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with extra experience. There, that was the last one. And I believe the uh, monster lair is over in this corner. And what did this release? Another person? At least a bird. Hello, bird. Yeah, I think that's all the ones here. Oh, let's go talk to the birdie. Hi, birdie. I heard of the phoenix magic when I visited the soul of the mountain. If you collect, the I kind of already know that. All right, we also have to move back to the very first area. And inside the uh, painting, there's a couple. These ones are only worth 250. Ivy. And also head back a few rooms. Because a lot of rooms have the metal enemies here. There's one of the ones that's sneaky going around the room. Alright, where is this one? And what did this release? Released Ivy. Alright. Ivy everywhere. Lone dude here. Treasure. Tornado. What's this do? Tornado! I think I like Light Arrow better. <laughs> Alright, now that I'm out... Let's seek out this Ivy. I'm gonna say hi to Lisa. Hi! Alright, just say the same thing, right? Alright. Yeah, so there's Ivy near this place. Aha! Uh -huh. I think the other Ivy was through here. Up to here. I'm watching over this world. Please take this. Ooh, recover sword. Too bad I have to use level, be level 22 to use it. Alright, let's head back to the laboratory. Alright, I can beat metal shit. Time to beat some metal shit. While we're rocking out to this hardcore lab music. Alright, I guess I should have hit that. Yeah, release more shit. More, more pussy. <laughs> Oh, you know you're getting your ass kicked now. Oh, hello. Give me more gems. Oh, this is what we're doing, huh? <laughs> more? Yep. God damn it. That's rude as fuck. Oh, so those guys do a lot of damage. Whoa. Where are you guys going? Right here, apparently. Alright, that's rude. Alright, that was really rude. I'm gonna release a cat. Fuck, Dr. Leo has a lot of cats! And more, what is this, another cat or a plant? A great door. It's a pretty great door. Those things are so freaking fast. Level up! Okay, next area, and three layers remaining. Time to release more. A chest of drawers. Yep, sweet spot. Free gems. Alright, this leads back to the beginning. Weren't there some metal enemies like up here? Yeah, these duders. Release more people. Oh, I guess more plants? Yes, there's plants. It's either plant, dresser, or cat, or a door. No more monster layers. All done. Can I go on to the next section? What's down here? Whoa. Looks like shit I don't want to step in. Oh, that's a rude sneak attack. Alright, that deals four damage. Alright, look, guys, we're all bunched up on one spot. Am I just gonna just keep, keep leaping back and forth? Boing, boing, boing. But really? Really? That's... The AI in this game is impressive. You can cross fire without damage. Is this fire? Yeah, it is. Also, a great way to lose, like, a shitload of defense. What does this release? A door? A cat. He's sleeping, looks as though he's suffering. Guess it's time to invade his dreams. Oh, okay, I guess this is all we could do here. 
Guess we're going to the other side later. Okay, these guys are back. Free extra experience? Oh, okay, this just led, led down into a lower area. More people. A plant? A mouse. Shit, Leo, you have an infestation here. Aren't the cats taking care of it? Where are you guys going? Are you coming back? I saw one go flying up. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's annoying. Gotta wait for him to come back here. I can advance further! I see you guys on the left there. I see you guys on the left there. And I just ran into you. Shortcut. <laughs> Those guys are a little bit... kind of sneaky. That's right, just fly down here and die. Preferably where I can actually pick up the gems. Ooh, free experience? Just 300. So still have seven layers here, I can't go back yet. Be careful when I use weaker armor. Release more. Release steps? So can I talk to the steps? Shortcut- ooh. Like, that guy's being sneaky. Cause I really don't want to get hit. A bunch more. Another door? That's a great door. That was sneaky. Almost got caught by that. That's right, send him over to die. Alright, suddenly released all sorts of... Ooh, shortcut back. We don't need that, uh, gem after all. And another person, place, or thing. Released a model of town. Is that like the painting? I'm gonna get sucked in. Zero layers. I think that's, uh, that's it for here. Let's switch back to good armor. Let's talk to a bunch of doors and steps and pussy. <laughs> Door says nothing. Kitty! We don't really like to chase rats. Cats just have to eat in order to live. Would you please take the cats out of the room? I am too scared to move around with them in here. My body is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the laboratory. I did release some steps. Do steps talk? No? Alright. Man, these doors aren't very talkative. Oh yeah, have to invade the dreams. Alright, what are you dreaming about? I mean, we already established that he did. Science! Go away, soldiers! Oh, okay, hostage. Wow, these guys are assholes. Also, this guy's got a big nose. And that's why I was sent down? I was scared when he was taken away. I have been hiding under- I've been hiding under the tail. Oh yeah, I'll give you this. What do I get? A door key! <laughs> that's pretty door key! There are invisible enemies in the mall towns, please be careful. Well now I want to go unlock that shit. My body is locked. I guess I have to equip it. Okay, I didn't have to talk to it, I have to... I just have to walk into it. And I can talk to Kitty! Doors are usually quiet, but there are some talkative ones. Hello, take the mystic armor from my drawer. Nice! Lots of defense, invincible for a longer period of time. Also, isn't there a secret? Yep. That G. I guess I should go save it. It's time to go invade a town. Sidestep like a moron. Go backwards. I swallowed into the model. Spoopy. Can I hit you through? Yeah, I can. Kind of want the gems though. Oh, that's that's douchey. These guys are a little speedy. Fucking speedy little midgets. 
I'll take the extra- I'll take the big gems, though. Those archers seem to be a bit annoying. I feel like my vertical swipes are longer range. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here and let them come to me. Zoom! Open up more passages. But this place is like an annoying little maze. Or at least a mouse. A mouse hanging out with the cat. Some of these properties look nice though, like the This looks like a nice house. This one looks like a journey from the road to the house. These ones have no way to get to them. Kill the archers through the fucking forest. The trees. Oh, hello. More of you guys. Just let them come to me. Be patient. Alright, who did I release? Released another mouse. I don't even know where that area is. Right, how do I get to you guys? i just do that instead. Just use magic. Released another mouse. 14 layers. There's a lot of monster layers in here. Guess I can get that one from here. More animals. Or a plant. <laughs> How do I get in there? Oh, okay, from here. As long as these guys aren't thrusting, I don't think they actually do much. Besides just walking to my sword. And this released a chest of drawers. Do I get more items from them? <laughs> Thrust right into my sword. Aha, bridging the gap there. Ow, what the f- Oh yeah, person said there's invisible enemies here. Well, that's annoying. More bridges. Something invisible is there. Ooh, gems! Nine more monster lairs. Huh, do I have to go back to see invisible enemies? What's this mouse have to s Use magic to defeat the enemies which you cannot reach. Got it. If the soul of the great door joins you, you will be able to see the invisible enemies in the models of town. Listen to what the cat says. How about this chest of drawers? My back hurts because I've been sitting too long. I should get up and exercise your fucking drawer. <laughs> That's an awesome chest of drawers. There's something invisible here. You guys are annoying. Just stay out of the range of the archers. Alright, what did this release? This released a great door, and the great door will let me see invisible enemies? <laughs> I can see machines throwing bombs inside the model towns. Oh, I guess now I go out again. A hey, great door, help me out! Even though I don't look like it, I am from the sky just like you. Let me join you. Hooray! Soul of Detection. So I can get eight more... Things now they can see invisible shit. See? That shit. Ooh, level up! Run at me! Run to your death! Alright, well, way back. Give me experience? Everything gives 300 experience. It's like one kill now. Aha! Ooh, treasure. I can reach you with my sword, though. Because some reason attacking upwards is longer than everywhere else. Whoa. Oh, bomber dudes. Not just one. What you release? Released steps. Oh, Alright. Steps don't talk back though. Another single one? More people. More things to talk to. Oh, religious mouse? Three more layers. Oh, I see one. I see two. Ah, vertical attacking. Vertical attacking. As for you, get over here. I see treasure there. Oh yeah, I missed those, back, those two treasure chests back there. I should go back and get them. Let's just open up. Oh, and this opens up what? Oh, okay, this opens up a person. Place or thing or plant or... Another model of town. And a table, apparently. Man, we're fixing up Leo's lab really good. Now, what's in here? 50 gems. More magic. One more layer remaining, and that would be that one. 
And shortcut back, so this place is done. Oh, hi guys. Thanks, thanks for the free experience. Let's get this treasure too. 80 gems and... Medical herb. Area complete. What's upstairs here? Does the chair speak? No. Do the stairs speak? Nope. Alright, empty attic. Fuck it, let's go to the next... Next, uh, model. More of the same. More of the same. And more of the same people. What do we release? Another rat? Sorry, a mouse. This only has nine layers. A lot less than the last one. I wonder if they're in more douchey areas. Alright, bombers. I hear ya. Okay, now I see ya. You guys can screw off. Also, you fucking archers are annoying. Does open up to the way archers? Yup. No longer safe, bitches. And they're in douchey spots. Something in the attic. Released a chest of drawers. I wonder if this one's gonna be exercising too. This place has spoopy music. It's like a painting. Alright, dude, there's walking into my sword. Does town model have like what? Is this a factory? Whoa. That's fast spawning. I appreciate this. Let's me clear it quickly. What's this shit on the ground? Released another plant. There's like chemical waste products that I'm invulnerable to. Alright, follow the road. Yeah, I like these types of spawners, the ones that just keep spawning them. Ooh, treasure. Medical herb. Wait, I saw- oh, okay, invisible enemies. Alright, walk into my sword. Walk into my sword. Alright, what do you release? A bridge. This is the abridged version. So it's like an agricultural town here. Nice residential district. That was easy. What do we release here? Released a cat. Fuck, Leo, how many cats do you have? Well, I guess Lisa would have been happy if she loves kitties. I saw that. Annoying bomber enemies. Released steps. Ooh, okay. More basement shit. So these guys only thrust horizontally? They're not thrusting down at me. Which makes them really easy to kill. No more monster lairs. I release this dude here. I am an Actinidia. Take some of my leaves if you want. Ouch! What's going on up here? Hi, kitty. This room belongs to a doll named Marie. She told me many things about foreign towns. A girl named Lisa took care of Marie. If there is nothing in a chest, then the chest is good for nothing. Would you store your medical herbs in my drawer? Nah. I'm the happy- Why? I don't get to store anything. I'm the happiest chest in the world. No, I probably is. I know the most excited one in the world is the one that's jumping up and down by the portal. You look like you need some more exercise. <laughs> Wee! It scares people when we move, but we are just exercising. <laughs> well, there we go, paranormal investigators. That explains it. Oh yeah, those leaves. It emits a particular scent that attracts cats. What a pleasant smell! Come on, guys. We're going out here. Alright, Mousy. Thank you very much. Now I can walk around the room freely. Let me give you something. Please come inside. So this is where all the... This is where all the mouse spawns. Where? Thank you for getting rid of the cats. Take this magic. Nice. More magic than I'm probably not use as light arrows probably better. We are weak and timid animals. Don't you think it's unfair the weaker creatures are defeated first? I would like to have been born a plant. I would not fear anything. I mean, I'm... Knowing how my friend's cats are, if I was a plant, I'd fear them too. <laughs> would you like a medical herb? Nope, already got one. Because cats love to eat the plants too. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going down these steps. Oh shit, more lab stuff. Nine monster lairs. Ooh, and spiky balls apparently. Easy kills, easy kills. That describes this entire game once you learn where the enemy's sp sweet spots are. More places open- where did- I was supposed to say that didn't seem too useful. Whoa! That opened up a lot. 
Alright, here we go with the armor again. Be careful. That's why! Fucking shenanigans. Just keep switching to between armor. Whoa, hello. It's like, now that I have the metal killing sword, these guys are super easy. And they almost always come inside the, uh, come with the things that spawn enemies quickly, which is nice. I always appreciate when I can kill enemies really quickly. Alright, what do we release? Oh yeah, I forgot to talk to- oh, hello doll, I forgot to talk to a uh, religious rat there. Two more layers. Spiky balls. Can you fly over here so you can get killed? Give me some easy gems and easy experience. Really makes the gem over there. Do I get experience? Just 300? Yep. Nope, not going back. One more monster lair. What do you release? Oh, okay. This is boss-ish. Zero layers remaining, so... Who is there left to talk to here? There's the doll and religious rat. What do you have to say? I'm a devout mouse. Stand here and you will be purified. Did I just walk through him? Alright. Thanks. How are you, doll? You look like you're sleeping. The large machines in the basement were the machines which summoned evil. They were made by Dr. Leo. When those machines started to move, the cities were destroyed. Right, well, I guess it's boss time? Down here, I guess? Yeah, this looks pretty boss-ish. Oh, goddamn! Ooh, six damage just from running into me? That's rude. Alright, you can't hit him when he's... ...launching shit. I can get about a good four hits on him. God damn it! He's got more than a full life bar. But I mean, if this is all I have to do, just hit him a few times. Right here, and then just run away from him. Except for when he runs into me like that. And run away, run away! Oh, you're so fucked. Got you, bitch! Alright, do I release... the doll? Hooray! Oh, more stones! Alright, done labbing it up. Happier music! This place is still ruined pretty bad, though. This is like the... The most dangerous house ever just fall like a thousand feet down into the fucking lab. Alright, the doll's in the attic, right? Yep, yeah, there she is. Hello! Nobody can break a promise that is made with evil. There will be no revival of the world unless Death Toll is defeated. Dr. Leo must be somewhere in the Magra Castle. Take the stone from my pocket and go to the Magra Castle. I guess that's where I'm going next. I wonder how Lisa doesn't want to see her after the world is revived. It's too bad everybody can go except for Happy Doggo Turbo. Poor pupper. Alright, I guess next time it's the, uh, to the castle to save Dr. Leo next. But, you know, I've, I'll say what I've accomplished and uh, it's time to rest. Rest well, because there is still much to be done, like listening to peaceful music. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, leave a comment, hit that like button, and share it with your friends. You can also click on the left button to subscribe, and the right button to watch more retro games. Thanks for watching!